Hey Gemini, welcome to your general reading for the second half of April. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. I'm going to pull you um, a goddess card for the overall energy of the read. And that's these ones. So let's see, what do we have going on with Gemini? Liberation. Beautiful, lovely cards. I love these cards so much. That's number 25, that card. So let's see what's going on with you guys. That's the goddess Kali as well there. So freeing yourself here, I'm feeling. Getting that liberation, Gemini. Wow. Are you feeling liberated? Are you feeling that freedom? Wow. So we have the five of wands. Seven of pentacles. And the seven of wands also. So I'm picking up you have this inner conflict whether to carry on waiting for somebody or go ahead and speak out um, and move forward with or without them. Um, so yeah, you would get liberation by making a decision because I feel like waiting within the seven of pentacles energy, not seeing any return of their energy or any input from them is just causing you this inner conflict. So be assertive. Either, you know, speak up about this. It may lead to arguments here with these two cards. But at least you're not waiting pointlessly. Get your answer. You know, I feel like... Um, You'll move on. This is where you'll get your strength here. You'll get this strength from um, either speaking up and finding out once and for all um, or just moving on, deciding to move on. It could be like you are having heated discussions with people about how long you've waited for them or how much effort or energy they put into you. I feel like it's not enough for you. So you regain your power by pushing on, making a decision here. The devil, yeah. Somebody is like um, holding on when they've put in no input into you, no energy into you. The seven of pentacles is nothing's growing from this energy because only one person is feeding the connection, is quite toxic behavior. You know, so um, it's like codependency or addictions here. So it will be a Capricorn for some, but um, choosing to, you know, move on doesn't mean you have to forget about this person. It's understanding that you can move on with your life and let them catch up when they're ready. That's like letting go so that they can come forward when they're on the same vibration as you. Holding on when they're not putting anything into you um, is quite toxic. It sort of holds you back and... Um, I feel like you've been going through this inner conflict with this five of wands, like, should I continue to wait? I've had no news from them. Um, either they're not speaking to me, uh, things like that. Apply it to your life, how it applies and fits your situation. Only take what resonates. So yeah, if you've been feeling that inner conflict here, um, this devil energy, um, you know, um, holding on to somebody else or expecting somebody else to fulfill you and you know be responsible for your happiness um it won't go anywhere you, you've got to understand that we are responsible for our own happiness here 
So, you know, I, I see you understanding this and being persistent and either speaking up with the Seven of Wands or moving uh, forward without the communication, just letting go and moving on without the communication, letting go of this devil energy, um, which will be freeing and liberating for you here. There's too many cards, but I'm drawn to this one. Two of Pentacles. That's why I was drawn to that one. Making a solid decision here. If this is a job that's no longer serving you and you've been going backwards and forwards, like, should I stay in this job even though it's not serving me? You're going to make a decision now and you need to stand by your decision. So, you know, um, having a choice to make here, um, but finding it difficult with that inner um, conflict. But when you've made the choice, um, it'll be quite liberating. Yeah, look at that now what we have, the Eight of Pentacles. So now we have the positive energy. You know, the Seven of um, Pentacles, nothing grows there. Nothing comes from that. But now, after you've made the decision here, then we see something can grow from this. Whatever that may be in your life. If it's job or if it's love here. Um, yeah, definitely here. Once you make that decision, um, stand by it. And then you'll see growth within your life here. So if it is regarding a job and um, you're worried that um, you won't find another one, you will be working. So don't worry, you will have um, good money coming in and find another job. I see you could sign a new contract very easily here once you make that decision to let go of this toxic connection, this toxic tie, something that's not serving you. Justice, there you go. We've seen a lot of this um, in coming into Taurus season. I've seen a lot of this earthly energy. Um, you know, people, if it's not serving them or they're not happy in their job, taking a chance and it paying off. Getting the bank balance right, working and being happy within your job. If it's in regards to love here, it's the same sort of thing. We're going to see now um, you walking away to balance the energy. Which gives us the eight of pentacles. So if you walk away um, from somebody who's, you know, not putting that energy into you, you stop putting energy into them. Which means you can grow then with the eight of pentacles. Things going your way with the justice card the right way up. Things working out for the better here. But it's like you will, you've had this like struggle going on within you, but you're going to make a decision with the two of pentacles and then you can start getting that forward movement. Knight of wands, yeah, take action. The Knight of Wands is like quick action needed. You need to make this decision so that then you can start um, getting this movement. It's almost like somebody's chasing you here. Somebody over the back of your shoulder. It's like you could somebody could be running away from somebody here. Like moving on from somebody. You may be deciding to move on very quickly um, from this and then they start chasing you if it was very stagnant and no and you know they wasn't putting energy into you when you decide to stand your ground and leave cut the connection here then we see them start to chase you that's probably why then we see the eight of pentacles in the connection Eight of Cups, what did I just say? When you decide to walk away, it's like they almost turn around and start chasing you. 
but definitely leaving something in the past that's not serving you, you know, is not the right thing for you, will give you growth here. Amazing growth. You may be questioning, should you leave um, it behind? Because this lady is looking back, but we see it has positive changes here. You know, it brings in this positivity. You don't have to let go of them for good, but I feel like it'd be quite li liberating here to let go and, you know, just free yourself from this devil energy. The Knave of Cups. So, the Page of Cups. So, somebody you wants to apologise. Somebody's got something to say here. I feel like it's regrowing that love for yourself in this as well. You know, it's like almost starting again loving yourself first. But somebody has something to say to you here. Um, will be something um, positive and loving. Um, but it's like almost only after you walk away do they then want to tell you, you know, I'm sorry for treating you a certain way or not putting energy into you. I understand now. Make sure their actions follow through as well as their words would be my advice. So good luck, guys. <laughs> 